Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's review of the Revit Catalyst H2O textile jacket. The Catalyst H2O jacket doesn't meet the conventional definition of a touring jacket, but that's what Revit bill this as. Now, in my opinion, it's a comfortable, flexible short jacket with removable waterproof and thermal layers inside, which does give you good options for a range of different weather conditions. And you could go touring in it, but you could go touring in anything if you wanted. But really, I think it takes a certain type of tour to suit this jacket. Anyway, let's run through the details. The soft shell outer gives it a very casual feel and it zips up the front with a chunky zip that's backed with a wind catcher to keep out extra chill. Then the collar fastens with a press stud that's got two studs on the base to give you a choice of fit. The cuffs are simple Velcro flaps and they've got enough room to go over a full length glove or they can also be done up tightly enough to fit inside a glove if you prefer that. There are fit adjusters on the forearms and there's an elasticated ball cord to tighten the bottom hem around the waist. There are two ventilation zips on the chest which allow air in, especially if you've got the waterproof and thermal layers taken out of the jacket and then there are two side pockets at the waist. If you open the jacket then we see first the thermal layer which is a full layer with sleeves and also it has a single pocket in there to stow your essentials. Now that layer comes out to reveal the waterproof liner. This is made from Revit's two layer Hydrotex light liner. It's got a water resistant zip to fasten it and there's also a gutted storm flap behind there for extra rain defense. If you do use this jacket while touring then the waterproof liner is designed so that it can be taken out and worn as a standalone jacket when you're off the bike say in the evenings. There's no pocket in that waterproof liner, so if you're just using that liner inside the jacket with the thermal out, then you'll need to partially remove that layer to get to the single pocket that lives in the main shell. As well as that single pocket in the shell, this is where we find the armor. Shoulder and elbow armor is standard. It's Revit's Sea Soft armor, which meets the basic level one of the impact part of the CE safety standard. It's light and flexible, but it covers a good proportion of the body and it's marked as type B, which shows it protects a wider area than a type A protector. There's a pocket for a back protector, but you'll need to buy one of those separately. The overall CE rating for the Catalyst H2O jacket is the most basic in the CE standard, which is a single A. For connecting to trousers, there's a short zip in the mesh liner and then another short zip as well in the waterproof layer. Using that one means there's less chance of water being able to creep in between your jacket and your trousers. There are also loops to attach the jacket to belt loops on a pair of denim jeans. I think that last option is the one that's most likely to be used and really it shows for me what this jacket is best suited for. I think this is a great jacket for riders who want sporty style and a short cut, but also want to know they've got good weather protection. Now, if I started out looking for a jacket to take touring, I probably wouldn't settle on this one. For a dedicated touring jacket, I'd want more pockets, I'd want a longer cut and also a more substantial outer layer rather than a soft shell material like this. But for a jacket for more relaxed riding, I think this is very good. It's comfortable, it's flexible, and it also covers a plenty of different weather conditions. So if I knew I was going touring with very little chance of sustained rain, then I would possibly take this along. As we record this though, the Catalyst H2O is £299.99, and that could get you something like an Outback 4 from Revit. So if you were looking at a dedicated touring jacket, I think that would be a more serious option, especially if you're looking at longer rides in all weathers. But as I said, for normal riding, say to work or out for a bike night, this is a really good option. As long as you're not planning on long trips in sustained rain, then there's every chance this could be your only riding jacket. And I would say it would do a very good job of it. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Revit Catalyst H2O jacket. But if there's anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.